you think it's going to explode? It's not a film. I might be able to fix it. We can't just leave it here. Do you reckon you can still fix it? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt Rogers, and today we're taking a look at the new Netflix original, End of the F***ing World. Based on the comic book series of the same name, End of the Effing World follows the story of two 17-year-olds, James who's a psychopath and Alyssa who has a terrible home life and rubs just about everyone the wrong way. Both of them are desperate to escape their mundane lives and run away and as the show unfolds they find themselves in situations that get progressively darker and more violent. We know Alex Lawther from another hit Netflix original, Black Mirror, and he also played a young Benedict Cumberbatch in The Imitation Game. And Jessica Barden is best known for a few indie movies here and there. First of all, I love almost everything about this show. It walks the line of being darker than most TV shows out there, whilst also being hilarious. This is mainly due to the incredible cast and their performances. The chemistry between James and Alyssa is off the charts, even with their polar opposite personalities. But not only these two, I also found myself loving the police duo who have a lot of awkward moments due to sexual tension between them. One of them is also from Black Mirror, by the way. Most scenes are punctuated with old-time music, which gives a mature yet creepy aesthetic to the outrageously dark situations they find themselves in. And it goes quite dark, venturing into themes of suicide and sexual assault, but somehow stays light-hearted the whole time. It helps that you hear the inner monologues of both characters too, which gives you a realistic insight into the inner workings of adolescence, despite the tough facade they put up for the outside world. I think there's something relatable for everyone with this show. Although this is obviously an extreme case, I think that everyone at some point in their lives, whether they were kids or whether it's now, fantasise of running away and starting again. And this show displays what would happen if two adolescents did just that and how they deal with the inevitable repercussions. End of the Effing World is streamable now and easy to consume, made up of eight 20 minute episodes, which means you can sit down and binge them all as a two and a half hour movie, which I highly recommend you do. Until next time, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all.